In the comments, I received a question asking me why I didn't show the blend vertex feature, and it's mainly because I've never had a really practical real world application for it. But for the sake of completeness, let's take a look at how to use a blend vertex. So let's start off our blend feature by going to the shapes overflow menu, and we're going to sketch our different sections. Let's click the define button, and I'll sketch on the datum plane called front, and We'll leave the default setup. And for simplicity, I'm going to use my palette to grab different shapes. And to use a blend vertex, I'm going to start off with a four vertex section going to a three vertex section. So let's grab the square and let's increase the scale to a value of about 10. Still very small, but let's just drag it and drop it right onto the intersection of our sketch references and hit the check mark a couple times to get out of sketch mode. So if I go to the sections tab, it tells me that the first section has four vertices. Let's put some distance in between here, 20 to create the second, ver second section, and click the sketch button. And this time I am going to create a triangle. So we'll go to polygons, grab the triangle and drop it in here. Let's use a scale of 10. And let's drop it. You know what? By the way, if you don't like where the drag handle is placed, you can hold down the right mouse button over it in order to relocate it. And I wanted it to snap onto the center of the bottom leg. And one thing I want to point out as I make the scale a little bigger is that uh, you'll notice that the start point in the first section is down here at the bottom. The start point in the second section is in the corresponding lower corner. But again, we have four vertices going to three vertices. And let's turn off the datum plane visibility to reduce clutter. Let's hit the check mark to drop the sketch in there. And if I hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode, I have an error in the bottom of the screen. It tells me this section must have four vertices. Currently, it has three. So right now, the check mark is grayed out because I don't have an equal number of vertices. So let's go back to section two. You also notice it has a red dot next to it. And click the sketch button. And what's going to happen is it's going to have this vertex in this vertex line up and that vertex and that vertex line up and if i want both of these two vertices to converge down to this vertex i will select it and then hold down the right mouse button and in the pop-up menu choose blend vertex and it represents it with a circle around the vertex to indicate that it is a blend vertex let's hit the check mark and there you see how the feature is created. So again, we are getting the two vertices on the bottom going to the two vertices over here, and these two vertices converging down to the apex of the triangle. So now I can hit the check mark. So there you can see how we have it, just one blend vertex in the section. Let's take a look at another example. I'm gonna have this time, let's have a, six-sided figure going down to a four-sided figure. So let's suppress this blend and turn on my datum plane visibility and create the feature like before, shapes blend. Let's go to the sections tab and define and we're gonna sketch on the datum plane called front using the same setup as before. And for my first section, We'll go to the polygons, and this one is going to be a hexagon. And I'm starting off with a section with more vertices for simplicity. There's no reason that I can't have it the other way around. I could start off with fewer vertices in the first section and define the blend vertex there, but just for simplicity, I'm starting off this way. All right, so that way we have our first section. Let's hit the check mark. And again, I can notice that the Start point is on the lower left corner. Let me hit the check mark to finish off the first section. And I just again do a distance of about 20 between sections. Let me zoom in. And let's go to the sections tab. And from here, 
we can hit the sketch button. And for the second section, this time it's going to be a four-sided figure, commonly known as a square. And drop that in here. Let's change the scale and go in here. So now I'm going from six vertices down to four vertices. Let's hit the check mark. And I notice that my start points line up. So in this case, I'm going to have two blend vertices in here. So I can select one of the vertices I want as a blend vertex, hold down the right mouse button and choose blend vertex, and do that one more time. Select another vertex, choose blend vertex. And now when I hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode, I don't know why it keeps on resizing it off of my screen. There you can see what we have here. So again, we have the two bottom vertices convert going to the ones that they line up with. And then we have these two vertices converging down to a single blend vertex and the same thing on the other side. So again, that's how you can use the blend vertex if you have to have an uneven number of vertices per section. By the way, let's edit definition of that blend vertex. And I just want to show you on the sections tab, when you have the blend vertex, it's saying that, hey, this really counts for two vertices and this really counts for two vertices. So that's why we have six vertices per section because of the blend ver vertices in the square section. One other thing to note is that you cannot put a blend vertex on the same vertex that is the start point. That is not allowed. So that is one restriction that you do have. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.